Hi, welcome back to my sewing vlog, The Seaside Sewist. I'm Natalie and today's vlog is all about another new favourite make. So I shared my new favourite make of a pattern a few weeks ago and now I have a totally new favourite make that I am obsessing about. Why did I wait so long to make the Nair t-shirt from Tammy Handmade? So I was probably inspired to buy this pattern months ago by Tamlin from Sewn on the Time. Put it into my files in my iPad and I never printed it off. Didn't do anything with it. Um, and the other day I thought I've got a couple of cotton jerseys there. They're all sort of a metre, you know, metre pieces. And I need to do something with them. And I remembered I had the Tammy handmade um, pattern so I printed it out and I cut a couple out. So the Tammy handmade um, pattern, put a picture in here of it. It is a very easy and very quick t-shirt pattern and it is amazing. So it's a stylish pattern that features dropped built-in sleeves that finish with a cuff detail. The slip-on boxy fit makes the perfect cosy t-shirt for sewers looking for a quick yet satisfying make. You'll be surprised how quickly it comes together and will want to make one in every colour. That is absolutely right. Soon as I'd finished the first one, within about 40 minutes, about that's about, about how long it took me, um, I, I was scouring my stash for more cotton jerseys absolutely love it so it is done in it's a pdf pattern and it goes from sizes 6 to 32 a 6 being a bust of 31 inches and a waist of 24 inches and a 32 being a bust of 57 inches and a waist of 50 inches so a really size inclusive pattern there now you can use cotton jersey, viscose jersey, sort of any lightweight knits. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through a few that I have made and my plans for, guess what, more. So, so the first one that I made was in a cotton jersey that I got from a Higgs and Higgs remnant bin. Um, at the Knitting and Stitching show a few years ago and it had just sat in my stash and it is this dark green or like a khaki green cotton jersey with like irregular black polka dots on. It's got a cuff detail and it's literally a neck band but it's literally all done on the overlocker so you cut a front and back piece out, a neck band and two cuff pieces I do everything on the overlocker and then um, I hem it on the sewing machine. Now, I thought I had black Maraflex thread and I don't. I've tried to buy black Maraflex and I think it is out of stock in a lot of places. So I literally just did normal thread but a zigzag stitch. So that's fine. So I love that one. The next one that I made, so sorry, I'll put a proper picture in here of me wearing that. The next one that I made was in this beautiful Stuff of Denmark jersey that I bought from Keely from Voice of a Creative on a D-stash and it's got like little gold accents through it. I did lengthen it by about two inches so it just did fall over the top of my jeans a bit better but again absolutely love 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 this. Um, and then I got quite quirky, so I'm just going to go on, go off and get this fabric. So I think I got this fabric from First for Fabrics a little while ago. I think it was First for Fabrics or it was from a D-stash. And I absolutely love it. And I remembered about it and I thought, I'm going to make a Christmas one. But it's not long enough. <laughs> so it is this dinosaur's Christmas fabric. And I just wanted to make a Christmas near t-shirt. I really do. But what I might have to do is um, get a navy jersey and block it. So block the pattern because it's only, I think it's 
think it's a 60 centimetre drop and I need it to be 80. Um, but I need to make this pattern out of this fabric. I need to. So I'm on the hunt now for either a navy or something else that's contrasting with this. Um, so I can make that up for Christmas. I really want to. And then when I was out the other day, I went into Boys, which is like a cheap department store that we have here in the UK. And some are better than others when it comes to fabric. I bought a piece of Lady McElroy, which is for a totally different um, project. But I picked up a metre of viscose jersey to make in there. So that'll have a lot more drape. So it's a black with a like a grey mal stripe through it. This was on clearance for £3.50 for a metre. So I'm going to make a t-shirt for £3.50. And it's lovely. It does have quite a lot of drape to it. So it will be a completely different look to this one, which is quite stable and quite thick. But I just thought, oh, that is amazing. £3.50. And then they also had this cotton jersey again, which I'm going to make an air t shirt out of. But it was great because I went in knowing that if I bought cotton jersey, this was what it was for. So I can literally cut these out now. So it is this grey like a grey mile with a white stripe through it. Now I'm going to have to pattern match. Is that a viscose jersey as well? I don't know, I think that's cotton jersey. This was £4.50 a metre. So two tops there for under a tenner is ridiculous. Um, but yes, I'm going to make a couple more near t-shirts out of that. So I absolutely, I've, I've fallen in love with this pattern and I, that's what I tend to wear. I tend to wear a top top and jeans so t-shirts for going into the spring summer to wear with jeans is just like that's amazing so let me know what you think of my near t-shirts and my plans for more have you made it do you lengthen it because i think i will lengthen it by two inches all the time now um do you sew up jersey tops on your overlocker i tend to actually Mariflex thread them sew them together with Mariflex thread first and then overlock and I thought oh, I'm just going to go straight on the overlocker with this and see what I think and I was just so happy with it so I am thinking of maybe doing a sew along um, of the near just to sh literally show you how quick and easy it is so if you would like to see that let me know Leave some comments in the description box below. So that is everything for this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. And please subscribe if you want to see more content like this from me. Until next time, bye.